All right, set up just past 50 yards with the KYL there. I'm gonna go from biggest to smallest a couple times through, just using that CCI to see what happens. Like I said, I'm getting used to the trigger. Barrel is still breaking in, the gun is still breaking in essentially, but I should be able to get the few, first few targets without too many misses. And then towards the end, I'm going to have to really work at it. Uh, just personally working on a new trigger, that's gonna be a part of it. But I believe I can do decently on this. Again, a little past 50 yards, here we go. Well, there you have it. That was really not too bad. Uh, that last one, I was probably a little left and right of the target each time, but that is not bad at all. We're talking about a gun that's under $500 and is going to easily compete with some other big name rifles that are already in the market, have been for a few years, and I think this one brings more to the table than those two for less. Hey everybody, welcome back to Gun Talk Minnesotan. Today I am super pleased to bring you what I think is probably going to be an NRL 22 base class killer of the Ruger Precision Rifle, the standard Ruger 1022s. I think this is a better option, better than the uh, Savage 64F and some of those other base class ones that I see a lot on the range. This is the Bear Creek Arsenal 201 22LR, and it is really surprising. I have I've had some mixed thoughts about what this rifle could be. So I'm going to start off by telling you that it does not come with a bipod, okay? This is, uh, CB Life sent this out to the channel. Thank you for sending that out so I could use it for this review. So I have a carbon fiber tripod on there. It does come with a stainless barrel. It's a very nice, thick bull barrel. It does have a type of target crown on the end, which I'll be showing you close-ups of all this soon. It has a Hogue stock, and it's like the rubber, rubber overmold kind of stock. They're not the hard plastic. They're a little bit softer does have a good tactile feel um, on the grips for your fore end. It is flat on the bottom, which is a huge advantage, especially in the NRL 22 world when you're running bags, that kind of thing. You're running on uh, platforms or barricades and you're gonna throw your bag up there. This is nice and flat, and yet it is still ergonomically comfortable for my hand. Just really, really well done. The stock length of pull is a little short for me, and I'm not gonna pretend that it's not. It is a little short for me. I'm 6'5", I'm probably a good, you know, maybe six inches taller than the average person who might be looking at this, but all I did is I just took a little stock extender, put it on the end, and I put this on here um, because I thought I was going to need a cheek riser. It turns out I really don't need a cheek riser. So it doesn't come with the cheek riser. Didn't come with the stock extension here. It did not come with the ZeroTech Optic, of course. Thank you to ZeroTech for sending this out to the channel. This is their Vengeance 6-24. I just did a review on this on a different rifle a while back, and we took it to long range, but it's got this awesome near focus parallax, and I said I think this reticle, this combination, is really good for an NRL base class rifle. And then when I got this Bear Creek, I just couldn't resist. I think this right here is phenomenal. It does come with a Picatinny rail and a really decent trigger. You can see that this is not like your stock let's say Ruger 1022 trigger, that's gonna be fairly heavy, creepy, crunchy. No, this one is actually a pretty decent trigger and it does use the standard Ruger magazines, the 1022 style rotary mag magazines. Really cool, the compatibility is there. I plan to test out other types of magazines in the future. You can see that this does have on the bolt an extended BCA side charger 
Now I've done a number of side charger reviews for ARs and it's the same feel. It's the same piece of equipment there. I'm pretty sure for that knob and it's just going to thread in. Got to get used to the order operations here. Been a bolt guy for so long, but it works well and the rifle shoots well. A couple provisos that I want to tell you about this before we get into any first look groups, discussion of accuracy and build. Um, I did shoot at least 150 rounds first and cleaned it twice before I started looking for any results. I did some bulk shooting. I took some factory seconds. They're actually on the paper. Maybe I'll show you in a little bit. I just took some bulk shots at uh, a target, just shooting fast actually, because I knew I wanted to run lead down the barrel right off the bat. And then I wanted to clean it out and then move on to some better ammo. So I wasn't having any change in velocity or maybe if there's any little metal shavings or anything like that, I'm just clearing out any of the confusion that can come with a brand new rifle. I wanted to smooth everything out, get it all worked in. And I wanted to know what does it look like as it's you know basically broken in as a rifle. And yes, there is a break in, especially for semi-autos because you have metal contacting other metal parts and things are just gonna smooth out generally as they go. So I did that. And then I started looking at groups generally. What I'm going to tell you right now is so far between CCI and Normatac 22, not Normatac match, but Normatac 22, that has produced some really, really reasonable groups out of this. And I'm happy to see that I think there's a few more types of ammo they'll show you in the next video that can even shoot tighter. But so far, I found some affordable ammos that are common. You can find them everywhere online and in store. Places like Fleet Farm are going to have them. Um, I think even some Walmarts have a couple of those brands. So you can find this stuff everywhere. And it's a rifle that is under $500. In fact, it's well under $500 with a serious contour barrel and a decent trigger. This, again, has really surprised me. I'm very impressed. I wasn't sure. Um, what kind of performance I would be getting out of this. I knew what I could expect, but I haven't seen a lot of bench results yet or prone results of somebody taking it seriously with match ammo and just providing that evidence to uh, viewers. And so I'm excited to show you a little bit of that over the next few videos. The first video, just this first one, is only really to show you that I have the rifle and that I'm shooting it and that you should expect more. I don't think these groups are conclusive and it's certainly not the final video I'm gonna be doing on these types but you will see this at a match in the future because i'm going to shoot a base class um, position in my next nrl 22 match and it will be with this one right here probably configured very similarly or exact same all right so here's what i did i had to zero the scope so don't worry about these black uh, blacked out spots here that was just zeroing this optic on the rifle and obviously i was dumping a bunch of rounds so here's the groups that i think i should actually talk about my first 10 shot group with no cleaning and no fouling shots and all that. I just went straight from uh, clean barrel, no warm ups. shot 10 rounds. Okay, there's 10 rounds of CCI at 50 yards. So that's looking to be about an inch with a flyer. I can definitely claim some of those flyers. The Wolf Match Extra was looking to be about an inch and then it machine gunned on me. I bump fired a whole lot of rounds and I retested that on another piece of paper actually over there and the Wolf Match Extra just isn't that impressive in it. It does fine. It's right around an inch. And here's some Normatac on this side. So hopefully you can see that in the shadow. The Normatac wasn't too bad. It's about an inch, maybe a little under an inch at 50 yards. And remember, this is still just kind of break in process time for that barrel, the metal, the action, and all of that. Then I went down and retested the CCI down here with a 10 shot group. And I'll come in just a little closer here. Okay, with the CCI, that's just standard velocity stuff. A uh, 10 shot group looks like uh, seven of them are fairly tight. They're right in there about half inch or close to one MOA with a couple flyers in there, which I can probably attribute to either me, uh, trigger pull or ammo. And then I went over and retested the Normatac. Sorry about that, my camera died. It is overheating a little too hot, but you can see with the Normatac right around uh, uh, three quarters of an inch. So the potential is definitely there. I think as I keep hunting for ammo, I'm going to find better and better stuff. But right now, at worst, the worst that I think this rifle is going to do is two MOA. I think it's closer to three fourths MOA or one MOA uh, right around there. In truth, I'm going to get a little more practice with it. 
but so far there's a lot of promise that this is going to be a competitive rifle and I'll find an ammo that it shoots consistently and well. So for sure more content to come on this rifle. I like it. I'm getting more and more used to it. Obviously I'm going to get some more rounds down range and I'm going to hunt around for ammo and find the one that it shoots the best. Then I'll report back to you guys. I'll probably shoot some matches with it and let you know how the matches go. I'm traditionally a bolt action guy. In NRL 22, that's what I've run exclusively is bolt actions, but I do want to try this out. I think there's some sincere advantages here and I think it's going to knock out, like I said before, the Ruger Precision Rimfire, the standard Ruger 1022, those base class entry rifles, some of the Savage rifles. I think it's going to knock them out because this offers that bull barrel, a decent trigger, and basically the essentials that you're going to need to do well in base class and perform probably above average with some of those other rifles, even with their better ammo. I think this with better ammo is gonna be superior. That's my projection, we'll see what happens, but go ahead and like, share, subscribe, maybe follow uh, on Instagram if you haven't done that yet, I would really appreciate it. And let me know what you think of this rifle if you have one already.